and the writing for their dialogue with each other just felt like cardboard. So like they, yeah, there was no personality. It was just like, hey, aren't you supposed to be scared of me? Uh, I can pretend to be scared of you. Oh, no, it's fine. By the way, I got burned alive, but my face didn't get burned. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, don't you get it? Oh. She's awkward and weird, which means you're gay now. Nerderotic.com. <laughs> 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 okay. uh, I guess we should briefly talk about Ghostbusters because... Man, went with uh, my son and his friend and my entire family and the adults hated it. And the kids were like, it was fun. But yeah, I I didn't like it. I thought it was, they were doing too much stuff. There's no heart in it whatsoever. It just felt like hitting, you know, member berries and nostalgia bait. Bill Murray could not have put in. A, dude, you thought it was bad in Afterlife as it is fucking cool. terrible it's, in this. The thing with Bill Murray is it's really hard to know when he's not trying because that's how he often comes up. Mm -hmm. Period. <laughs> it's literally every fucking thing he's ever done. Yeah, he's got a dry, sarcastic, you know, air about him. I, I totally agree with that, but my God, at the end of Afterlife or Afterbirth, because it was so fucking dull, <laughs> he just came in and literally went, uh, oh, oh there's a ghost. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, it. he's barely in this, right? So mm -hmm. there's not much to the plot. You know, the bad guy's not that bad. They're back in New York and everything should have worked. And it just felt completely soulless. Just it just felt it by did. the numbers. I, so agree with that. Yeah. I think shocked. that it had the components to actually have been a good family movie with the whole oh here's a ghost busting family thing. But even as a family, there was no chemistry with each other. They were almost all pretty insufferable. Paul Rudd, I think, was fine, but he couldn't carry that on his own. And then when you look at the whole lesbian story that they tried to incorporate in there, she didn't even have chemistry with the ghost i know at all. yeah if, if there was That's some awkward. kind of chemistry and then <laughs> yeah. um i'm forgetting her name what's her name phoebe phoebe, phoebe. 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 Yeah. yeah phoebe if there was some kind of build up to how depressed and lonely she still felt she just got benched on the team and all of a sudden she just wants to be dead and hang out with a ghost she met that right. night and it's like what yeah. to be fair to the movie uh lesbians do get together that fast they do i mean you yeah. know they also break <laughs> up that fast I don't have experience in that, but she went from like awkward, oh, I want to hang out with her to being willing to risk her life by yeah. separating her soul just yeah. to hang out with her. I was yeah. just like, that's a leap. Yeah, because yeah, like in Afterlife, she was the awkward that. kid and it was fun, but this time it was just like, why, why should I care? Like, I had no reason to root for her at any point. Like, I didn't I, think Afterlife was fun either. I didn't like Afterlife very much. Like, Afterlife was made with good intentions and trying to put a focus on the history and everything as opposed to destroying everything like Ghostbusters 2016 tried to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just didn't personally enjoy it. I didn't feel connected to the kids. I thought they were all fucking annoying. So I wasn't expecting a lot out of this one, <clears> but the main problem I think it was just too much shit because you're trying to do the yeah. stuff with the old cast. You're trying to do stuff with the new cast. You're introducing, uh, what's the freaking Indian or Pakistani guy's name? Oh my Who's God. Come on, like Johnny. Oh my God. The yeah, Fire yeah. Lord, whatever the hell he was. That was yeah, terrible. Fire, like his fire entire master. plot, it, it was like, man, they really could have just cut this entire thing out and had it be something else involving I'm not going to lie, knew. though. His parts were the only parts I even got little chuckles out of, <laughs> which I may not have the popular opinion there, but I did get a couple chuckles out of his parts. Yeah, there was a lot to his character. I, I felt that he should have been the main client of the story and have that be the main focus rather than him just like randomly sell this object and right. suddenly he gets looped into the plot. It didn't really yeah. make any sense. And then also suddenly get superpowers and save yeah. everyone because... Yeah. Yeah, Reason. and become good at it too with no explanation. You, you, know, you know what it felt yeah. like? We needed to check a box, and we're looking to right. like release this in. in, in yeah, India. We, hey, hey, we need another person of color. Can you also make him a flamer? Uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go, Firemaster. <laughs> What was funny about it is that they, because he was such a cliche, it was like, hey, let's make this really cheap Indian guy who tries to rip people off. I know. It's <laughs> who's, who's running like a, a dropship service or whatever. Yeah. That, is, that is brave of them. It, 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 it was. It just wasn't funny most of the time. You know, yeah. uh, it was good seeing like Ray back. Dan Aykroyd being in a lot of it was Mm -hmm. Fine, I like that was better, but I yeah, I didn't care about this family. I didn't care that much about him from Afterlife, especially the mom. And it's just like mm. God. Like, I didn't like her at all. It was like she wasn't momming well. She just talked to her kids like that ghost girl talked with the other, just always so sarcastic. There's no loving 
momness to her. And but, I'll be honest with you. I, I think, liked Afterlife. I, I give it like a 6.5. I consider that film to be above average, but it did have a lot of heart to it. And a lot of the heart that was yeah, in that film was absent from this there's one. There's more Phoebe, heart in Afterlife yeah. than this, for sure. Yeah. Phoebe wasn't likable at all until uh -uh. after she goofed up and then she showed it a little bit of humility for a few minutes. Then it was right. like, okay, she's a lot more likable now. Where was this personality the entire movie up until this point? There's no Ghostbusters without Harold Ramis and Ivan Reitman. There just isn't. Mm -hmm. That's pretty evident now. It was one really great movie, a sequel that I like. It's not great. It's not terrible. And yeah, this movie's like mid. If you want to go see it with your kids, your kids will probably like it because all the ghosts yeah. and stuff flying around. But it is just beat for beat. Memberberry. Memberberry. And like yeah. the librarian doesn't really do anything. That he comes out and just cam, says, yeah. yeah, and he goes, you're not allowed in there. Yep. The end. You know, uh, and it like there's no impact. Patton Oswalt showing up was thankfully short and yeah. a thousand percent annoying. I fucking hate that guy. The thing that I feel that made the original Ghostbusters work was, yeah, definitely Bill Murray and uh, the guy who played Egon originally as well. Their interactions really carried the film, but they had this funny tongue-in-cheek charm quirkiness where the uh, chemistry between them all just made it work. That is absent completely from this new film. And you see the same in their previous one in Afterlife as well, where you don't have have that Bill Murray kind of presence and as a result it falls flat and it's boring but it felt like they were desperate to try and get that like you have Paul Rudd always trying to crack a joke when he's there and it just wasn't working and then you have the Indian guy trying to crack the jokes then you have the Asian you know simp boy that's off the side trying to crush mm -hmm. on the girl. his name is Pod podcast what made Ghostbusters the first one superior to all of them it was an earnest film it was a comedy that took itself very seriously, and they lost that in all the sequels, including Ghostbusters 2. It started becoming a little too self-aware, it's a little too tongue-in-cheek, and that's yeah. not what the first one was. And this one is just flat. I feel like they tried to just zoom through any type of message that the movie was supposed to have, whether it's about family or self-acceptance. I felt like there was never really a strict message that we ended up getting. It no, all it just never took a breath. It, and it, it, it served a no purpose. Right. Yeah. It's, so it's not a good follow-up to the originals. And it's also not even a good follow-up to Afterlife. No, that, now that y'all bringing up like podcasts, wasn't his name podcast because he had a podcast? Yes. Like all of that stuff gets dropped. It looks like he's reading. helping Dan Aykroyd do his. Yeah, like, that would have been so. more interesting. Dan yeah. Aykroyd's bookshop and doing like live streams. That would have been <laughs> I would have put way more gags of that because that would have been funny as hell. Yeah. But uh, no, well, we had to spend more time with mom and then the kid who's what's his name from Stranger Things. Completely Trevor. useless. Finn yeah, Wolfhard, yeah, completely useless in this. The only thing they got right was uh, Phoebe was too young to be a Ghostbuster, and they addressed it, and that's why she got benched because she, uh, you know, uh, destroyed too some property. Too young to be a Ghostbuster, but too not too young to get involved in a lesbian relationship with a ghost. With a ghost. With a ghost. With a ghost. Yeah, a yep. ghost lesbian. Yeah. and that that storyline took up a lot of time uh, in 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 yeah. what was too many storylines. So yeah, you know, if you want to go see it, fine. Uh, but uh, it, it, Ryan's right. Ghostbusters is dead. All this ghost corpse shit that they're starting. They started, they pulled that back up again. The ghost corpse. I'm like, this. it's going to be a corpse. A corpse. Yeah. <laughs> Not a corn. A corpse. Nerdverotic.com. Please subscribe.